Okay, I've decided to do this mission online because it is a pain in the arse. I've tried it a few times on single player and uh, if you lose the mission you have to start again from those set of three. Um, so it's really irritating so I just want to get the pass and be able to cash it in at that point. I did the other two anyway so... But you'll see what I mean, this thing is absolutely annoying. It's got a load of chains and yeah. <laughs> Very frustrating, I just think it's going to be a lot easier doing it online, so that's why I've made that decision, otherwise it's going to slow me down when it comes to filming. I've given it a fair few, well, two tries and uh, lost all my lives, so let's go again. Why do I feel like that was going to slam down then? I don't think he is though. Ah, nice, someone else is doing it. Sweet! Ow, how did that get me from there? Cheers, my dears. Ah, uh, let's get off, it's gonna do something. Oh, is it just roaring? Sometimes it does this slam down move when it starts spreading all of them apart. Well, we've almost got its health down to halfway, so I must have some high level players with me, which is awesome because otherwise it's a really long, tedious fight, so don't worry, I will fight it again some other time, so you will get to see more of this thing. It's probably going to die any second now, the fact it is. And there we go. That was short and sweet. <laughs> Awesome! There we go. I've got the proof of the mission now, so what I'll do, guys, is I'll cut the video here and I'll return when I cash it in. <gasps> oh my god, Carlos! No, come on, that was too obvious! So Carlos was a traitor as well. <laughs> I 
His appearance has changed as well. And I just get to see it all from my comatose state. <laughs> Ah, the kiss of life. これが本当の棺の入り口だよ。サイモンに会うための本当の扉。わかるよ。みんなを助けたいんだよね。コースアイデ。サイモンのところに行きましょう。きっと君の願いは叶うから。Beatrice, it's okay. I'll be back soon. Don't worry, I'm not dead. <laughs> At least I hope I'm not. <laughs> oh, Carlos. Oh, I just wanted him to be the red herring. I didn't want him to turn out to be a traitor. He was just too obvious. I thought it was done with once it revealed to us that it was Jean, but no. Carlos stabbed me in the back, quite literally. I think time passes slowly on the outside. Everything's on fire! It's like an abductor graveyard. <laughs> Deeper and deeper into the vortex. Wow, this looks cool. <laughs> awesome. Everything's frozen in time. Come on, Simon. We've been hearing your name for a long time now. Simon's 
それがどういうことかはいずれ分かる時が来るそれまではひたすら前に進むことだね君らしく人間らしく So the last part of the journey is for us to do on our own then. I don't know. Just looked like she was walking off, but Looks dark. Simon, hello. You could get a lot, Ningen. Oh, my no more to you, will come with you. Oh, my new tattoo. Oh, Grimo, he looks cool. Chaser, Casco, he must have. She told me I call it. 人間の思いを力に変える武器だまずはこれであの姉妹喧嘩を止めてやれるもう一つはこれだ棺の種ここと地上をつなぐ扉を作ることができる人間落ち着いたらまた会いに来いその時はもっとゆっくり話をしよう Is that it? <laughs> well, I suppose I do need to get back because although time moves slowly in back in the real world, it's still passing, isn't it? So, hmm. Well, Simon looks a bit, I don't know, fruity, <laughs> a bit, a uh, bit crazy, but I like him. And uh, here we go. Booyah! Take that! Has she snapped out of something or has she just thought, oh, I've just been beaten, my sister loves me, I'll just forget about everything. Yeah, sisters reunited. <laughs> well, that's epic. <laughs>
シルビア見つけたからえ天国でやらなくてはいけないこと<笑>でもソフトクリームの借りはとりあえず返したよ Well, to be honest, I think we owe you a couple of favors. <laughs> So what's going to happen now? It's feeling very end gamey. Oh, it is. Okay, so that ending has left it really open. Uh, I think there's some stuff after, um, you know, after the credits are finished rolling. So I'm going to let the credits roll. But this is the end. Of the main story, I guess. I know there's like little things after this, what I've read, but it's not like major things to do with the story. As far as I know, it's just like mini, mini story stuff that, you know, isn't really part of the main thing. So,、uh, yeah, so、uh, we've finished the storyline of Freedom Wars. So, don't worry, there's still going to be more episodes of Freedom Wars, by the way.、Um, I'll probably continue doing missions and, you know, periodically upload episodes of me doing. Multiplayer and stuff like that, PvP and stuff, and if any DLC comes out showing off,、uh, you know, new DLC and things. And I know there's some more abductors that I haven't shown you. There's the dragon type, which you just saw there.、Um, I haven't actually fought that yet on this game, so I know that unlocks now that we've just passed the,、um, you know, now that we're at code 8 basically. So, I should unlock that as well, which is cool. And、uh, we'll see if there's any more storyline after these credits, but I don't know, as I said. So, as always, it's time for me to give my kind of like a mini review, thoughts, and impressions of the game.、Um, excellent game. I really highly recommend it for anyone who's a fan of the action hunting genre. So,、um, I highly recommend it. Must have for the Vita. The graphics are really nice. There isn't really any slowdown or FPS issues. Like, the only places I've seen it are, you know, around z a k a and stuff like that. Ar around the Warren. And it's not that bad, to be honest. And it looks amazing on the PlayStation TV, by the way. I'm currently playing it on my PlayStation TV. 47 inch HD screen. And、uh, it looks really nice on 1080i. So,、uh, yeah, it's a, it's a really great game and amazing for the Vita. So, I really enjoyed the storyline actually. I know a lot of people turned around and said the story wasn't good, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. And、uh, that ending, man, has just left it so open, to be honest. So, I kind of hope there's more after these credits, but if there isn't, then they've definitely left it open for another game, which is great because I would love to see a sequel to this game.、Um, you know, and I know that a lot of these games have a format where they'll bring out. Another version of the original and call it like 1.5, and it'll just be upgraded with extra stuff. So, I don't know if they're going to do that, but I know the game sold pretty well, so I don't see a reason why there wouldn't be a sequel or an upgraded version to Freedom Wars. So, I'll definitely be covering that if it does come out, guys. Don't worry. Thoroughly enjoyed the game, can definitely see myself doing it. Obviously, I won't do a full Let's Play walkthrough if it ends up being the same game. Um, you know, I won't cover the parts of the story I've already done, I'll just cover like the continuation and the extra parts. And、uh, yeah, it's been really cool. So, the negatives to the game the only negatives I would say are I'm not too fond of the crafting system, I find it a little bit awkward. I know there's various things that can help you craft and keep modules and stuff like that, but it just seems like a bit of a chore, really. Um, you know, I don't mind the weights. That isn't an issue with me. I don't mind the weights because you can just go and do a couple of missions and then things are created. Or you can use, you know, the citizens to speed up the creation of the items. So I don't have a problem with that at all. It's just the awkwardness of creating the weapons you want with the modules you want on them.、Um, I find that a pain in the arse. The only other thing, as well, is the, there seems to be no invulnerability time. Now, a lot of people 
don't mind that to be honest but I think that some invulnerability time is necessary I mean I don't like games where you know you get knocked down and then you're invulnerable for ages but what I do like is that you know you have at least some invulnerability time but there's been times on this game where I've been ran into a corner and I'll just keep getting trampled over and over and over until my life is depleted to zero. But that said, there's a lot of chances to be revived on the game. There's actual deaths and then what I call faints or downs. So if you get your health reduced to zero, you'll fall on the ground and then the screen will go like a bluish grey colour. And then uh, one of your accessories or, or teammates can come and revive you. And if they revive you, that's not an actual life lost. So I call that a faint or a down. But then if no one revives you in time, you do lose a life and then I call that an actual death. So um, there seems to be quite a lot of generosity with lives on levels and stuff, especially on multiplayer as well, which is pretty cool. Um, you know, so I haven't really struggled in that respect. To be honest, a lot of people were saying that when you get to Code 6 and Code 7, it's really, really hard. I've only, as you can see from this Let's Play walkthrough, I've only had to complete two missions online. Everything else I have done, I have done for the well, not, I wouldn't say for the first time, but I've done it without cashing in a pass that I've obtained from online. I've only cashed in two passes from playing online. Uh, one was because it was really awkward against other sinners, and the second one was on this episode, which was taking on that big abductor with all the chains, which was just irritating. So I think that's pretty good going, considering everything else I've done, you know, using my teammates on single player so that's pretty cool yeah graphics amazing music is amazing love the story uh, to be honest I would probably say I would ha be happy giving this game a 9 out of 10 and uh, it would have been 10 out of 10 if it wasn't for the lack of invul invulnerability and what I consider to be a pain in the ass crafting system I mean, I'm really excited to see what's available after these credits are finished rolling and see what the game has to offer us and stuff because I do want to finish off missions and uh, show you guys any more abductors that we haven't seen and, uh, you know, continue doing some multiplayer as well in the game. So don't worry, as I said, this won't be the last episode. So I'm going to mute the microphone here and let the credits roll and uh, we shall see what's available at the end of the credits. Here we go guys, a little bit more story then. Ah, okay, yeah I forgot about that, we need to go back there. There's me going, oh I hope there's more to the story, there is. <laughs> ところで種を植える場所わかる種はウィルオーで育つなだからウィルオーの特別恋場所を探して当然誰にも見つからないような場所じゃなきゃダメだよ Right, okay. Yay, and a silver trophy. 
生産計画局選定員より通達ですトラビトさんおはようございますホノライパのプティコンでの戦いは見事でしたアルパのプティコンはあなたに大発行度を与えますホラーイホノライパのプティコンはあの天罰によって壊滅的打撃を受けましたしかし地上にはいまだわがパノプティコンの資源を狙う適正パノプティコンが多数存在しますいえむしろ敵しかいないと言っていいくらいですあのパノプティコンにはまだまだあなたの力が必要ですあのパノプティコンの未来はあなたの頑張りにかかっているのです今後もあなたの貢献に期待してよろしいですね。ありがとうございます。Can, それでは、マガパのスティコンの未来のために、今日も明日も明後日もボランティアに勤しみましょう。レッツ貢献。ここが第8階層の独房です第8コード取得により新たに解放可能な権利が追加されました引き続き本パノプティコンの幸福増大のため貢献活動に邁進してください先ほどシベリアン・ユリアン・サダーと引用連絡がありましたザッカーで待っているとのことです外出する場合は外出許可申請を提出してください。OK、Well, it seems like the story hasn't ended, guys, because we need to meet with Julian and、uh, also we need to plant the seed. So let's just have a look at the contributions directory and see if anything new is unlocked. So I've still got these optional missions, which I'll be doing on a online multiplayer episode, guys, so don't worry, I will do those. Let's see if I can claim some entitlements. How much points do I actually have? Oh my Gideon! 17,057. So let's buy some of these. Okay, I've just spent all my points there. Okay, guys, so I'm going to stop this episode here. So don't forget, there will be some more Freedom Wars. We've still got some of the story left, it seems, and we're going to have some new missions as well. So don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and share the video, guys. Remember, all types of engagement help me out as a YouTuber. And as always, thank you for watching. <laughs>